What is Kabbalah's perspective of karma, and how does this relate to reincarnation? Kabbalah does not present reincarnation as being connected to karma, and it doesn't deal exactly with that, that concept. Re reincarnation is, is, is a, an arcane way of expressing evolution. Um, it means that life has a, has a root, but the way in which it expresses itself or dresses as it evolves appears to be different until it's complete. Different and then different and then different. Uh, life upon life upon life. But these are really inner changes that are represented to us as though they were outer changes because we demand separation from everything else and in that basic demand of our nature is the, is the root of what we think of as death or complete separation between lives, but they're, they're, that doesn't exist. Karma, see that's a very specific concept. It has to do with you do an action and there's a, there is always a counterbalance of action, yes. There is a kind, nature always is trying to reach a homeostasis, and the only thing that it's trying to evolve, essentially, is the, the, the heart of the creature. Who's the creature? Everything is the creature. But the heart is felt in you. It's not, you know, we look at stones, and we look at plants, and we look at all that, but where is the place of this? You know, where is the beating heart of, uh, of the cosmos? It's in you. So, uh, it's, there is a balance and, uh, and a kind of homeostasis, like trying, nature is always trying to bring a kind of balance into the heart. And if we go uh, in a certain direction that is against connection and the, and the fulfillment of the law of nature, it naturally pushes us back from that place because that place is not a real place. So, the this developing force uh, realigns a person back into the correct developmental parameters and we feel that as reward and punishment or we look at it as, we could look at it as karma but it is it is the loving heart of uh, of, of the law of nature